So another thing you might be asked to do covering the concept of central tendency in your assignment is to identify and solve for an unknown value when you know certain values such as the mean and the sample size. So imagine you were given a problem where you have a set of scores and you have one score that is unknown. And you're told that you have here four scores and then you're told what the mean of the scores are. So say that the mean of the scores here is three and you need to find this unknown value. Now we have enough information here to do that. And we can do that if we remember that the mean is the sum of scores over N. And so here we know the mean is three and we know that sample size is four and we know all but one piece of information that would go into that sigma x statement. We know one plus two plus three plus x over four equals three. So here we can solve for that missing value by isolating. We can multiply both sides and get 12 equals. We can put this together, six plus x. We can then subtract our six from both sides and we get that our missing score must be six. And if we take these and we go, okay, here we have six plus six is 12. 12 divided by four equals three. We can see in fact that that does get us the mean.